This review has been brought to you in part by Maine Irish Airsoft. Hey, welcome back to Ollie's Airsoft. Today we've got a bit more gun porn for you. This is made by ASG. This is the Scorpion CZ Evo 3A1. Now this is a one-to-one -one replica of the real steel version of the same piece. And what this is, this is a mill sim item. This is not designed for spray and pray. This is designed for the serious gamer, hence the price tag and the components used to build it. Stunning piece of kit this is. Uh, when I first saw the pictures of it, I was a bit unimpressed. And when I first got the parcel over from ASG to have a look at it, my initial reaction was, and I suppose that's because I'm just so set in my ways with M4s and my own particular piece that I use. I find it hard to move away from what I see as mainstream guns. But the more I played with this, the more I felt it in the hands, shouldering up. Um, yeah, this is a very, very nice piece. Now, from the get-go, this is one of their pro lines. This is their flagship now. They have put a lot of time and effort, ASG have, into building this piece. Don't do unboxing videos, but the box is rather sexy. And they have a lot of information both on the outside of the box and on the inside. Worth knowing. But we're going to get that out of the way because, let's face it, we don't care about boxes. We're not interested in boxes. We're interested in this. Now, the great thing about this particular piece is uh, that it's fully customizable, uh, both internally and externally. And in fact, there's a whole range of externals that are being brought out to go on this, such as flash hiders, sights. Uh, this particular piece here we've put on is the front support set. Now I'm gonna take this off so you can see what I'm talking about. I'm gonna take the stand out the way. I'm gonna put the mag in now. I will state I'm in a studio. I don't need eye protection on because this is a brand new piece out of the box. The only thing I've done is I've put in a battery. There are no BBs in the chamber. There are no BBs in the mag. If you are plinking or playing with your stuff at home or filling with it, assume that there's a battery in it. Assume there are BBs caught in the chamber somewhere and be careful, use eye protection at all times. Now, back to the review. So, as I said, this is uh, the front support set, which you can buy as a separate. And what it's designed to do is, when you're going for you know a quick acquisition target, coming up, this allows your hand to slide in and go into its position nicely without sliding forward. It's a bit like the Magpul AFG, it's slightly different implementation. You can wrap your finger around if you want to do that. It's, it doesn't feel very ergonomic though. But coming up here, it does let it sh you know, sit very nicely into the hand. And it means that you can kind of get it every single time. You know, it's, it's obviously, you know, the more you do something, the more it'll actually come natural to you. But it, it is a nice addition. And I think it does give a nice kind of finish to the gun. Now, what they've done with from, uh, you know, they've, they've been very, very faithful to the real steel piece. They've used glass reinforced polymer here, um, GRP, and that is the exact same stuff that's used in the real steel version. And this is a milsim item. This is, as I said, ASG have made this their flagship piece, and rightly so, because they've put an awful lot of time and money into getting this right. Most guns are made abroad in China, Taiwan, places like that, the Middle East, uh, where, um, you know, let's say quality is questionable. This is fully produced, designed and made in Denmark. And it's been made by airsofters for airsofters. They've taken everything that's bad in AEGs and binned it, taken everything that's good in AEGs and put it forward for this particular piece. Starting externally, as I said, the full body has that um, nylon reinforced polymer and it's got the glass in it to make it even stronger again. Um, at the top you have a flash hider which can be screwed off and then there is another locking collar just here which will then allow you get access to your battery. Now the battery is and has to be an 11.1 LiPo battery. And the reason for that is uh, the gun is set up internally to, um, it has been fitted with an ECU or an ASCU, whichever way you want to put it, but it's an ECU. And basically that's a MOSFET. A MOSFET is going to do a number of different jobs, but it needs the 11.1 LiPo to run it properly. 
Uh, if you try and run this on a lesser battery, you're going to run into trouble where you'll get misfires and it'll actually keep giving you a reading that the battery's dead. Uh, failing that, if you do stick to the 11.1 LiPo, um, you know, it will run smooth, crisp and as I said, because of the ECU and, on board uh, and it's actually positioned in the gearbox, it's not separate, um, it will do a number of features. Number one, it will tell you if your battery's running out. Number two, it will tell you if there's a fault. And uh, number three, very, very clever thing, is there's a little sensor on the actual, um, between the hop unit and the actual gearbox, a little sensor to inform the ECU to stop shooting when you run out of BBs. Now the mag only takes 70 rounds, 70 BBs, and as I said, this is a milsim piece. It does have a couple of nice features on top of that, but we'll get that into it in a second. But the ECU inside will actually tell the gun to, to cease, to stop working when you run dry. So there's no dry firing. So pretty much like the real steel version, to take out your mag out when you print a fresh mag in, you have to cock back the bolt catch, and then you have to then release the actual bolt itself. Um, reason why I'm taking the mag out is because, as I said, there's no BBs in the mag, so it will not fire with an empty mag. But they've done something, they do have a fire selector here, that's ambidextrous. Uh, although the bolt catch is only on one side, the actual fire selector is on both. And it's the first time, I'm sure it is on other guns, I've not seen it but it has a four position fire selector. So you have zero, which is safety. You have one, which is single shot. So it's a single. Okay. And then you move up to the next position, which is a three round burst. So when you press down, and then when you go to the last position, that's full auto. So. And back to zero, which is safety. Now, that is an impressive little feature. The fact that you can move from uh, from safety to a three round burst to full auto with a flick of the fire selector. It's a nice little feature, as I said. Now, um, the actual stock part can be moved around and the whole piece can then be used if you want to go real sort of CQB and you need to come around a corner, you know, you're going to have options there. Another great thing about the gun is uh, it ships with a 0.95 spring inside, um, or a 95 spring, which puts this gun dueling around the 0.9 mark. Now we're under a one joule uh, jurisdiction, we're one joule and under. So that's perfect. But say if I wanted to travel, say, to the north of Ireland, where, you know, I'm obviously living in Ireland where I make this video. If I wanted to travel to the UK, I could bring this and I could then pop out the spring by just, there's a little screw here. You just push in, twist, and out comes the spring. I can then put in an M120 spring or whatever spring I want to put in, um, and off I go. It's real, real simple to do. Now, the actual insides of the gun are a little bit more complex and to get to it, it took a fair bit of fiddling and stripping by Chris the gun tech. Now, I wouldn't even attempt it because it's not my thing. Chris said, you know, you'd want to be a seasoned gun tech to strip this, but the great thing about it is it is fully, fully uh, upgradable internally. So any of the ultimate range will be able to be popped into this if you want to put in different gears. Now, one thing that Chris picks up on is he's not sure whether you can put in other gears other than what's the same ratio gears that are already in it, because it may mess up the timing that's on the ECU. But he's not sure, and that's something he'll tinker around with. And when I know, I'll get back to you. As I said, um, there are a load of accessories from ASG. Obviously, they have the battery that you can buy for the actual particular gun. That's retailing at $24.99 at MIA. Um, the front support set, which I said is on the gun already. You've got an extra sling hook that you can buy. I think it's only about $9.99. And the sling hook goes here. You obviously have the two back here that are fitted to the gun, but you have a, one here that comes with the gun 
If you want, as you're taking off the battery guard, you can pop that out and put it on either side, whichever side you want, or you can buy another one and put it on there and have it as an extra. Nice little feature. So um, what we're going to do now is we're going to get into the internals and we'll just join Chris in his back cave and then you'll come back to me after that. <laughs> this is the CZ Scorpion Evo 3A1 split down because we want to have a quick look what's under the hood. Um, now Chris is really fast at splitting down guns and that was not the easiest of splits was it mate? No. You had to kind a of really... Fiddly awkwardness. Fair bit of awkward in it to get it split. So um, we're just going to point out a couple of things. <coughs> this is the, uh, the barrel and it's uh, a 604 brass 604 precision barrel uh, and it's a 208 millimeter long barrel and then it goes into the hop unit there. Now the hop unit is different to the normal hop unit isn't it? It is. It's, uh, it's tiny by comparison compared to, compared to some of them. Um, a plus it also has auto detect them. Yeah, this here. Yes, that's the thing that must be connected to the mag. So basically what that does is it auto detects when your mag is out. Yep. And then it will actually stop firing. Yep. And then it's a case of... So it's, 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 this is a real milsim gun, isn't it? Yeah. It's 70 yeah. rounds in the mag. Yeah. Uh, and does pretty much everything a real steel would do. So when the mag's empty, it won't dry fire, it just cuts out. Yep, stops, uh, stops shooting. So you have to actually change the mag. Um, and then you have to release the bolt catch as well once you change the mag um, to get it to fire again. Just move the selector. So this is the first time we've actually looked under the hood of the uh, CZ Scorpion Evo 3A1. So far, what do you you know from what you've seen so far? What would you? Um... Everything is actually fairly good quality. There is uh, they do leave room for improvement with the the bushings. It'd probably be better with bearings. Might be a little bit smoother, quieter maybe. Um, but that's I'd say that would be up to the end user. <sighs> But that's something that you could actually swap yeah. out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And it's not a big deal. No, no, no. It's just fiddly taking the bloody thing apart. <laughs> so first off, let's just talk about the actual casing of this. This is made of... It looks like a cast aluminium. It's actually fairly decent. It's not, a, it's not your cheap Chinese crap that doesn't line up or anything like that. Everything seems fairly decent. It's a, a ASG standard cylinder. Um, is there a standard piston? It's just black instead of blue or red. Uh, gears actually look. Believe it or not, gears look fine. Um, decent quality. It's a, it is a little bit dry, there seems to be very little grease inside the gearbox. It is shimmed, but it's it's very, very dry. And you'd see that as a problem? Um, it'd be noisy, yeah. It'd just be noisy and things would wear a little bit quicker. Um, this is the has its own uh, ASCU unit, basically. own tapper plate and it seems to have its own nozzle and um, standard gears um, everything else looks fine inside now is it completely upgradable yeah yeah you, you could you could actually um you know i'm not too sure whether the the gear set is uh, set with this so you mean to say that this gear set could be timed for the ECU? For, yeah, yeah. So if yeah. you put in a different one, put in a higher speed one, higher speed one, you could run into trouble with the ECU. It could possibly well do that. Yeah, um, I'm not too sure. It's four thermal open it. I haven't had much of a chance to play around with it yet. Um, this is your mag empty detect switch, trigger switch, and then cut off lever with a uh, selector. And this is actually programmed for the Evo 3. It actually has Evo 3 made onto the circuit board there. Or printed onto it. And 
this is the far side of it with the heat sinks. And yeah, everything looks fairly decent, fairly good quality. Um, now, I mean, let's let's put this into perspective. The gun is retailing for how much? Four, four seventy, I think it is. Four sixty nine, four seventy nine. So now that puts us at the high end yeah. of the spectrum where AEGs are concerned. Yep. With what you're seeing under the hood, let's face it, the externals do look rather sexy. Yep. Very different looking gun. It's going to be very popular with a certain type of player. Yeah. Yep. But what you're seeing here, does that marry up to the price tag that's on the high end scale of things? It does, yes, because of the because it has its own ASU and the standard ASU unit is around hundred euro. Um and then getting it fitted that's 35 so you're talking you know, 140 euro there to be able to get that fitted and then if you have to upgrade a standard AEG you would put about about 200 into it to get it near enough the same spec as this as it is standard and then you have all the uh, GRP body kit which is allegedly the same as the real deal um, GRP stands for glass reinforced polymer that's right yep. and the actual um, motor, motor is, is it is a high torque motor um, and it doesn't have uh, anti reverse latch. The ASEU takes care of that, that's why the, it's now, fairly stiff. On a standard top. AEG, what does the anti reverse latch do? It prevents the gearbox from unwinding when you fire. Um, like when you fire, the anti reverse latch will lock the what's that? bevel gear, will lock the bevel gear, preventing the gearbox from spinning back backwards and releasing the piston to go back forward again. Um, like normally you can hear it if you pull the trigger and then you hear the little zzz afterwards that's the anti-reverse latch in the standard AEG has the spring has broken so when you fire instead of the piston locking it will actually release and unwind go forward again and um, because it's all programmed into this and um, has active brake it actually stops the motor dead like it'll do one full cycle and then stop and it should be the same in burst mode and full auto and um, it won't work with a standard motor that's why it has a high speed high, or high torque motor. It's fairly high torque. It's decent enough motor. Um, yeah, fairly good quality overall. And as you were saying, it runs off an 11.1 LiPo. 11.1, yeah. But if you were to put, say, maybe a 7.4 LiPo in, it just doesn't have the power, does it? No, it, it really won't. Kick. It, uh, you, it might fire one or two shots and then the ECU may detect a low voltage in the battery and stop the gun from firing. So um, it's an 11.1 LiPo. 11.1, yeah. I did tr try on a the 9.9 .9 Life battery, um, it did fire but it wasn't as crisp as the 11.1 is what it's made for, so i say you should have no problems using the 11.1s, um, once it fits in here and across the barrel then. Um, yeah. Now it ships with a spring, Yep. which it's brings a, this in, this particular piece is um, jeweled at point point 0.90. 0.995. It's it's a yeah. 0.95 spring, but it comes in around 0.9, which is perfect for which Irish. makes it legal under our one jewel yep. legislation. Yep. Yep. So it's when it's put back together again. Yep. It's a quick access spring change, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's fairly simple. It's, uh, you push in the spring guide at the rear here, slide up the stock, and then basically turn the spring through 90 degrees, and it, or the spring guide through 90 degrees, it pops out the back quick change if you're going to UK or somewhere else and you want to use it where you have a higher level um, it's a less than a minute to change the spring out which is a fairly good um, I could probably do it maybe a bearing on the spring guide I don't know whether there's actually a bearing there's a, there's, there is something in there but I don't know if it's a, a bearing or not it has polymer seems to be a polymer piston head but again, the leaving scope for upgrade if you want to do anything yourself with it. Uh, yep, yeah, standard cylinder head as well inside. Um, yeah, everything seems fairly good, fairly nice. But it's a piece that, unless you were a very, very strong gun technician, you'd kind of suggest leaving it to the experts because yeah, there are a lot of parts to uh, fiddle yeah, well, this, around with to yeah. disassemble. You've basically to split the whole body to remove the gearbox. Um, and it's not that easy if, if, if you haven't done it before. <laughs> so really it's Lego? Yeah, it's kind of like Lego. Screw together Lego, yeah. Um, hop unit. Actually seems... Yeah, it actually clicks rather than just rotates itself. So it doesn't 
looked like it would unwind through use like a normal M4 style hoppy on or something like that. Yeah. It doesn't say which way is which though, but if you spin it back, it's on, forward is off. Yep. So clockwise nice. is on, anti clockwise is off. Nope, anti clockwise is on. Yeah, that's on. And right. then clockwise is off. Yeah. Yeah. So there you have it, the CNC machined out of barrel. It has integrated standard size rails, innovative construction, super lightweight and compact design, glass fiber reinforced polymer, a strong magazine, four position fire selector with three shot burst, secure motor attachment, CNC made flash hide and barrel nut, easy velocity change, Industry standard 8mm bushings, removable folding stock, reduced BB spill, removable flash hider, precision in a barrel, LiPo Born ECU, ultimate motor, optimal power transfer, newly designed gearbox, MIM steel gears, CNC processed gearbox, quality wiring, intelligent design solutions, larger support surface, Upgradable with industry standard parts, ECU control gearbox, crisp trigger response, easy service and maintenance, failure detection, balance battery monitoring, gearbox is a heat sink, moisture resistant, there's no fuse box, realistic handling and empty magazine detection. That's the specs according to ASG and who am I to disagree with them? It seriously, seriously is a nice piece of kit. So that is the Scorpion CZ Evo 3 A1. Stunning. Absolutely well worth the price tag. Now the price tag is around 459. That puts it at, as I said, pushing high end. Nice little thing I did find with them. They do a, a spare kit of, batter, of magazines. It's a three mag box and it's retailing at only 59 euro. So that means you'll be able to start getting, you know, within a very um, modest spend, you'll be able to build up your magazines stock so that you can rack out for your Milsoom games. Uh, three magazines for 60 quid, I think that's good value, considering on most guns that you buy out there, they can be running around 60 quid per mag, you know, so that's not too bad at all. What I want to show you this, I'll put the gun over here. I'm going to show you this as well. This is really sexy. This is so, so nice. This is the uh, purpose-built um, Scorpion CZ Evo 3A1 kit bag. So you have all your room for your magazines, batteries. On the inside, the gun will break down, fit very neatly into a padded case which allows for transportation. And don't get me wrong, you are able to cut out extra foam out of this if you want to. Uh, so you can put your magazines. There's already slots for magazines and batteries and stuff. But how sexy is that? Now, I have to say, one of the big things about Airsoft is, I've always called it the gooch factor, tartiness. The bag itself is only 34 euro. And let's face it, you know, you coming up to any airsoft site, especially if you're on a CQB venue, carrying just your case of goodies, you're gonna look fairly hardcore. That's what it's all about. It's not about how you play the game, it's about how good you look doing it. So, uh, for 34 quid, a purpose-built case. Again, ASG, you are thought outside the box. They also have a hard case if you're that way inclined. And um, the hard case itself is, um, one of those big rough tough boxes obviously a little bit more expensive but nonetheless uh, a great addition to any gamer i've had a plink with this ranges around 50 meters uh, very accurate typically on a three round burst first two bbs go out perfect the last one tends to be a bit of a flyer uh, that's true of pretty much every mosfet system i've used ever uh, on the um, Three round bursts, as I said, it, you know, you get a nice tight grouping, 
last one's a flyer. When you go full auto, everyone goes where you're targeting. Um, hop unit is accessed via the bolt catch coming back. And it's, as Chris has said, it's very easy to get hold of and it's a very knurled knob, so you can actually get to do it very easily. Very different uh, to any of the um, hop units I've played around with. A nice feature again. Beauty about this, when you see the pictures of this tricked out with um, silencer on, EOTech on top, uh, flashlights at the sides, lasers and whatever, oh, it is sexy. So, that's it. Uh, fully traded, um, fully licensed, and I have to be honest with you, an absolute surefire winner from ASG. Um, these are going to be selling like hotcakes. You will not see these around for Christmas, let me tell you. These are just going to fly out the door. All in all, most impressed. So this has been Jerry. This has been Oddie's Airsoft. And um, check out the CZ Evo 3A1 from ASG at your local ASG store. Failing that, if you live in Ireland, come into Main Irish Airsoft, where I've been looking at this in the studio. Um, it's well worth a look. And we're going to catch you in the next video. This review has been brought to you in part by ASG.